Hey guys, Shane here from Fugitech 3D Printing. Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the August Maker Box. So again guys, welcome back. We have our second Maker Box ever. Let's dive right in and see what kind of filament we got. Okay, so, bam! What do we got today? So you want to win. This way, this month we're giving away spools of filament to those who share what they made with their maker box. Very cool. So there's info, a little sticker right here on top. And we've got some stickers. So obviously we have the maker box sticker. Let's see if there's any more down in here. Actually that's it. There's just that one this time. So let's uh, see what the different filaments we got. Okay, so the first one I'm actually really excited for. This one is uh, an exotic of sorts, being that it's not PLA or ABS, which are the most common two types of filaments. This is wax filament from Maker Geeks. And the settings are, the hot end is 135 to 150 Celsius. Bed, 70 to 80. So that's, that's a very interesting combination of such a low melting temperature for the filament, but such a high temperature for adhesion to the build plate. Speed 20 to 70 millimeters a second. This stuff is super duper flexible. So I can see why that is to be so slow. Prince best one layers have enough time to cool. Made in the USA. We love that. What do you think of the filament? Maker Geeks gives you a 10% off your purchase, which is pretty great. Okay, next up we have a green filament from Beaver and this is called Silk. Super duper shiny. So let's take a look at the specs and see what this is all about. Okay, so hot end temperature, 200, 220 degrees Celsius. Bed temperature, not needed. I'll try a little bit without it, but I normally will put something on there just to keep it, but you know, we'll go with what it says first, just to be, you know, to be sure that I'm not, you know, an idiot. Uh, speed, 10 to 40 millimeters a second. My God, this is slow. I thought the, silk, the wax was slow. This silk is even slower. So the info, a hybrid, of bipolymer materials to give a silk-like appearance. This is really shiny. I mean, I hope you can see that. This is super shiny stuff. And from Beaver, they give you a $5 off your next purchase with their code. So thank you, Beaver. We might need to check out some more of this and see how it prints. This is a great color of green, so we'll see what how it comes out. Okay, so next up we have a black. This is from Algix 3D, and it's called Dura. Hot end temperature, 175 to 195. Bed, 55 to 65. So this is a pretty much a low temperature PLA is what I'm thinking. Speed, 20 to 60 millimeters a second. It's okay. So info, impact resistant material. Great for making parts such as those on quadcopters. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So I know it's uh, kind of the big fad right now for people to print out quadcopters. I haven't gotten into it yet. I only have two of my own, very a mini one and a, a little bit larger one. I've been wanting a Phantom forever, but to print my own, you know, maybe we'll, you know, obviously we're printing my Maker Coin all these, but if this turns out to be pretty cool stuff, maybe we'll pick some up. Uh, let's see, they give you 15% off through Amazon coupon. So, you know, we'll see how it prints. If it comes out well, let's pick up a roll and see how it prints for an entire quadcopter, maybe more to come. Okay, and finally we have a blue from 3D Print Life, and this is called Enviro ABS. So you guys remember from last month, I didn't print one of the filaments simply because I could not print at the ABS temperatures. Well, I have a silicon heat pad now on my FT5. If I cover that with a curtain now, we may be able to get ABS to work. But we'll have to see. Again, I'm not going to guarantee that I can print this. I am working on a few other upgrades. I'm a little afraid to make my heater go that high. I'm afraid to melt the couplings, the connectors that are on the board. I'm ordering a MOF set in order to take that amperage off the board into the MOF set and the board will just control the voltage and that'll be much better for this. But let's take a look at the specs. Hot end temperature 210 to 250. Bed temperature 75 to 110. Typical ABS stuff. Speed 30 to 50 millimeters a second. Okay, so the info, formulated to be consumed by bacteria once it enters the landfill. That's pretty cool. So um, I know PLA is biodegradable. ABS, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen much info about it. Again, I'm not very much into ABS, so I don't, I don't really know much about it at all. And they give you a 10% coupon code on their website. So that's pretty cool. Again, this is, this is a nice, you know, 
I'll call this like a baby blue maybe, um, but it's pretty sweet. Okay, so we saw the filaments. Let's test them out. Again, we're gonna be printing my maker coin at 200%. On the wax, I'm gonna, actually on a few of these, I might print it at 100% first, just to make sure I have the settings right. The other, with PLAs, those are really easy to print. I can kind of do this off the top of my head. But these are interesting exotics. They are lower temperature exotics, minus the ABS. So let's get to printing and see how they turn out. Okay, so let's take a look at these prints. First up is the silk filament from Beaver. And this filament is phenomenal looking. I mean, the, the, the high sheen to it, I mean, it looks like silk. It feels like when you buy, you know, uh, not silk, but it's, it's a, a string that we used to use probably back in like Cub Scouts or something, almost like a, like a paracord type. It's just, it has that feel to it. You almost feel like you should be able to like peel it open, but you can't. It's really cool stuff. So um, I made my maker coin, but I saw someone actually make a vase out of it, and it looked beautiful. And I'm I might make a real little one out of what's left. There's about 10 or 12 meters left. They give you around about 20 meters of the filament. So I think I might be able to make a little vase to cool. But I mean, this is too awesome looking. So it performed really, really well. The bottoms. I mean, you can see here where it was over the support. Came out pretty nice. Can't really argue with it. The sides, the sheen on that is just awesome. So this came out. There's no cleanup on this at all. I haven't cleaned it up. There's no... It didn't lift at all. This was the first print straight off with the recommended settings just printed it nice and slow. So this was this is a great filament and I will definitely be looking at buying some of this. Next up we have Dura from Algix 3D. I had a really hard time getting this to adhere to the glass plate. So because I couldn't get the big one to work, I just printed out a 100% model of my coin with five brims going around it that were touching it. So the bottom has this weird, it has to be sanded down or filed down in order to 
you know make it look decent but pulling that off actually pulled off some of the bottom layers here on the middle where the T and the F come together and the top it's at point two for this size model it's pretty ugly um, little under extrusion here in a few of the parts and just it just doesn't look great so I put it aside and I was like you know what we'll, we'll look at this another day but mail came in and thankfully I got some build tack in from build tack obviously they sent me some so I slapped it on there and we were able to print a full 200% model this came out good I originally I kind of cheated with the build tack which was a horrible idea I ended up just I didn't want to adhere it to the plate because I only have one glass plate for the G tech so I just crimped it down to it with a bunch of binder clips well the bottom of this model I'll zoom in here is totally not straight at all but it's it held and again there's no cleanup on this so there's a little bit of stringing here not much at all and it turned out nice I mean the, the walls are smooth and once I actually got it to stick it printed like PLA I mean the, the settings are really close it's like low temp PLA is what I'm gonna call this uh, it's 175 to 195 I printed this at 185 it's uh, recommended 20 to 60 millimeters I printed it 50 millimeters a second with a 20 percent infill okay here again you can see the sides are real nice but the bottom look look at that how <laughs> crazy that is and it stayed on the print bed which was just crazy so you know um i kind of have this white on it that's just from it coming off the build tack never used build tack before so you know i'm not sure but um it did well here where the support was you know aside from being ungodly warped on the bottom otherwise it, it came out really nice so can't really complain about it would i buy this no but it was cool to try out and that's the whole point behind maker box is to try out new filaments see how they are this one works i'm not a huge fan of it but um i got to try it it's fun and real quick up close you can see my 100 percent model so you see here the bottom you can see how rough and sharp that bottom layer is because I had to cut off the rat. Oh, I'm sorry, the brim, and in here a little bit under extrusion, and there a little bit over here as well. So I mean, not this needs to be pointed at a 0.1 or 0.15 for such a 100% model for something so small, but it worked. Not great though. Up next is the Enviro ABS from 3D Print Life, and here it is. I'll say this is the very first time I've actually even printed with ABS. This would not have been able to work if I did not have the build tech. I had a hard time. I printed it probably three times. Couldn't get the first layers to work out well. So the last time I did, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to let it go and see if it works. And it, uh, it did. The bottom's pretty ugly. Uh, we'll, we'll zoom into that in a second. And there's a piece of... A support here that just did got kind of pretty much fused into the layers which I'm not too thrilled about but the top is okay a uh, bit of under extrusion here you know I, I use the same settings I use for PLA which three top three bottom two perimeters 20% infill this was rectilinear but you know it, it worked but for my first print in ABS not too bad okay so this is printed at 245 nozzle 110 on the bed with build tack so it's a nice flat bottom but it has that white um -ness to it i'm not sure where that is but the bottom layer is pretty bad um, you can see here like almost under extrusion where the layers it's not that it didn't adhere to each other like i don't have any like all the layers you can see all went together just fine it started to peel up a little bit in these corners. I know these corners are tough. I mean, this model is not easy to print, and it's, I think it's a very good test. But uh, even here over the supports, it just didn't do very well at all. Um, the, the outer layers here, you can see they didn't um, lay, adhere quite well to each other. It's not that it's split, and I had my fan off for quite a bit of this, and then it came on. It just, you know, this is probably mostly me, but for my first ABS print, I can't really complain. You can see the under extrusion here in the front. Sorry about that. The under extrusion right there, up here. So 
it worked. Uh, it is very cool that this this ABS will decompose in a landfill. So that's cool because normal ABS really won't uh, from what I'm told. Again, I'm not a plastics guy, so I don't really know. But, you know, for what they're going for here, it's cool. Once I got it to print, once I got off the bottom probably 10 layers, this thing printed like a dream. It was beautiful. It was just those bottom layers were just tough. So, but here it is. Okay, so last up is the wax filament from Maker Geeks. I could not get this to work, I'm going to be honest. So there's still a bunch of the, the roll left. I ended up spooling this onto an empty spool that I have, so hence why it's a little smaller diameter. I just, I couldn't get it to work. So the, the first print, it lifted. Second print, it lifted. Third print got about two layers further, it lifted. So I was like, well, this obviously isn't working. So let me try a small one, it lifted off. I mean, I tried this, it says bed temperature between 70 and 80. I tried from 60 to 90 um, on these different ones. Nothing worked. Um, 135 to 150 on the nozzle. I think the nozzle was fine. I was sitting at 140, 145, and I think I did 150 with these. That didn't really change anything. It was still extruding just fine. It just, it kept lifting off the bed. And I tried it with the, uh, with the fan on and with the fan off the entire time. It just would not work. Um, I, I don't know, I just, I tried on glass and I tried on build tack. Nothing would stick, so, I mean, I can't say anything good about this filament. It's cool, it's wax. I mean, it, it feels like wax, it looks like wax. But if it, I can't even get it to work. Someone out there probably got it. A lot of people have the maker box. Um, I just could not get this to work. I might try again at a different date, maybe with a different build plate. You know, I have the, the, the print and Z skin. I guess some PEI coming. I could try regular painter's tape at one point when I get some, but uh, this just was not very good, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Okay guys, there you have it. There's my, you know, prints of the August Maker Box. If you want to get the Maker Box, you can hit a link down below. Uh, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that. I think it's a great way to try new filament. You never know how it's going to be unless you try it. And the 50 gram samples that they give you is a great way to do that. It's around 20 to 25 meters. So you can get a, a decent print. I mean, I could print pretty much two of my Maker Coins. This takes about 9.8 meters to print one. So if I can get two maker coins out of it, that's not too bad. So if you guys liked the video, please give it a like. If you didn't, you know what to do, dislike that. Subscribe, I appreciate all the subs I'm getting. I'm really getting up there. I'm sorry I haven't done a giveaway yet. One is gonna be coming when I come back from vacation. I promise you it's gonna be great. We maybe we'll give away filament or we're gonna give away a print. I'm not sure yet, but something will be coming down the pike. So I really appreciate your subs, guys. It's, it's amazing on the subs and views that I'm getting all of a sudden. And if you guys really like my channel, you can help me out via Patreon. I'll put a link up here. Throw me a dollar or two towards my first goal of getting some filament, and I will greatly appreciate that. You can also update your links with the ones I have below. Those are affiliate links for Amazon and Makers Geek. So buy a couple things with my link, help out the channel. Let's see what we can do. As always, happy printing.